Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video, vlog even. Behind me is the Newport Transporter Bridge, which you can see is pretty incredible. I thought I would start the video for you, guess you. Just look at the sheer scale of that, guys. The span goes across, and it's about 640 something feet. Uh, the highest point from the water level is about 242 foot tall. But we're actually going to go up there when Kurt gets you. The bridge was built in 1906 and it's one of only six in the world that's actually still a moving ferry, if you like. Said so you can drive on and you can take, uh, take the vehicle across to the other side, which is pretty spectacular. So I'm looking forward to get up there, guys, and I'll do some videos along the way when I'm up there. So if you could imagine guys, this would have been back in the day in 1906 when this was built. This was a very busy port, this was a main port in Newport. I know, and it just, there was a lot of factories, a lot of passing traffic and it just didn't make sense because it's a four mile walk around the riverbed. So that's where they come up with the construction of this bridge. Which then shortens people's work and I said it still works near enough today as it did back then. So it's powered by two 35 horsepower engines. I think they're electric motors now to be honest. And that's what takes you across, but it's a lovely view of the riverbed, guys. I'm looking forward to, uh, to get up there. Right, so guys, we've been told we've got to read uh, the health and safety plaque first. He's going to come out and, and take our money. As you can see, this is pretty awesome. So this is the way we're going to go up. Once he does the padlock and lets us in. Have some lovely view of the docks here guys, you can only just imagine what this would have been like back in the day. Right guys, it might get a little bit windy up here on the GoPro. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. But there's a lot of steps, 200 and something steps. So I'm not going to record walking all the way up because that's just going to be a bit boring for you. But I'm excited to get up there guys. Love heights, it's going to be good. <laughs> See, we've already come a long way from the cars. My white van stands out like a sore thumb. This is going to be awesome, guys. So we're nowhere near the top yet. Still going, quite a lot to do. So guys, we're at the very top of the bridge, 245 foot up. As you can see, this is where the electric cable to run. And then you've got the platform, which you can totally see down. And that's where we can walk across. Check that out, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm laughing at Kirk because he's not the best at heights. But look at this. So, obviously, that's the cable that powers it. Unbelievable, guys, this is awesome. I'll just show you a little pan of what 200 foot looks like. The traffic looks like little Hot Wheels cars, I'll be honest. So you can see it puts into the, you know, into words really how close this was to the docks, how much of an important bridge it was really. It's bloody awesome guys, I'll be honest. That's the electric cable that runs it. It's one of those things off the bucket list if you like. I wish we could go further up to that platform but we're not allowed. So as you can see guys, these are actual some of the cables that actually run into the ground to hold the bridge structure up together if you like. Honestly guys, it's absolutely phenomenal, what an experience. So you just metal sheet in, it's literally all it is. Again, as I said, apology if it is any wind noise up here. We are quite high and the GoPro isn't the best for wind. But you can see a ship right through by there being loaded up one loaded one of the two it's a lovely view right across you see straight down back towards Bridgend and where I'm from you now that's you can see Cardiff as well all the high rises in Cardiff you see everything from a different light when you get up something like this guys awesome as you can see guys you're probably here that's the transporter park going across on the ledge of motors and right down below there when that thing does pass. The whole bridge is vibrated, it's brilliant. That's actually the little deck where you can put your cars on. That says four miles on the journey. That's brilliant. 
So guys, we survived walking the bridge, the one half anyway, we've still got the other half to go. As you can see, that's the other half. It's a smaller bridge in Newport anyway. See up towards the valleys. Again, I know I've said it a couple of times, I apologise about the wind noise, it is, we are high up. But if you're afraid of heights, it's a good thing to come and conquer it. I personally love it. So we're just going to walk the other side, guys, and drop down. That's it, guys. We survived the bridge. Don't know if we're going to survive the stairs down yet. Who knows? If I do finish the video up at the bottom, we did. If not, then peace and love. It'll all be a distant memory. <laughs> As you can see, look at that for a view, guys. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. See you at the floor. It's a bit of information, guys, about it. What's going to happen in the future and where it's come. A few other bridges. See Tower of London's also on there. It's pretty cool, guys. But yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up there. I survived. I loved it. Really thing to do on a Friday morning, well recommended, £3 is well spent. We're gonna wrap it up there, get home on the road tomorrow, Urbex, which we love. So, as always, Urbex videos Tuesday, vlogs on a Friday. If new to the channel, thank you for finding me. Please subscribe if you haven't, or any criticisms. I know it's gonna be a bit windy on this video, so apologies on that. Current followers, thanks guys, been a lot of love and support over the last couple of weeks. Subs have gone crazy, so we must be on the right track. You know, everything we can prove. So, as always, peace and love. We'll see you on the next one, guys.